Apache first, opening of the Disability Awareness Day. What a great time to come. It's dry. Let's hope it remains dry. So what and all, let's have a nice big cheer from you all. Let pip, hooray! We're saying so, let's open the show. God save the Queen. Let's hear it for all time, cry Peter Powell. All these years have been used a microphone, I'm not going in, it was a bell. Fantastic, thank you Peter. Right, and with Great Britain Fencer Adrian Derbyshire at Disability Awareness Day, with a bit of competition in the background from the local fire service. Adrian, you've got your Olympic torch there. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, uh, I carried this torch um, from Chester Racecourse to the Stoke on Trent route, um, I think about a month ago now. So it was a glorious day like it is today here at Warrington Disability Partnership and uh, obviously it's a great honour to do that. As you see it's got 8,000 holes to represent the 8,000 people that carried the flame from Greece uh, to London and uh, it is, it's, it's, it's a beautiful piece of equipment and they're very honoured and very proud to, uh, to carry it in the northwest. And I believe one of those holes is unique to you. Yeah it is, so one of the holes is a little bit bigger and that represents uh, myself, I think it's around the, the bottom somewhere and uh, but yeah that represents uh, me carrying the torch. So. Now I know you've won two goals for Great Britain at fencing before but, and you were hoping to be in the Paralympics but you've got a bit of bad news haven't you? Yeah unfortunately um, I had to have surgery on my shoulder three weeks ago and which uh, leaves me out for London which is obviously devastating news as an elite athlete and especially as well we compete around the world um, every, all year and uh, but to actually compete in your home country in the Paralympics would be a dream come true but unfortunately I'm devastated to uh, to say that uh, I wasn't able to uh, to compete. But I believe you've been offered a coaching role. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, go down and uh, offer some advice and do some coaching. It all depends on the shoulder. Hopefully it will be, uh, be okay for me to uh, do some coaching with the guys, do some sparring and uh, get, them ready for, uh, get them ready for the competition. So uh, at the end of the day it's Team GB. So you miss out on the Paralympics, what's the next goal for Adrian then? Well, uh, there's lots more competitions, we compete you know, about 15 uh, countries a year and, and obviously it's about 10 domestic, uh, domestic competitions a year so it, it, you know, I'm hoping by the end of the year I'll be fighting fit, ready to uh, compete again for Great Britain and uh, hopefully winning medals. OK Adrian, thanks for your time. Thank you. With the voice of singing, Event coordinator Dave Thompson. Dave, 21st anniversary, amazing achievement considering everything that's gone on recently. Yeah, exactly. A really heavy week with uh, loss of Dave Connor, uh, really bad weather. Uh, Brun, actually in hospital, Colin, one of our team in hospital as well this week. But a fantastic team effort from one and all. And that includes Thorncross Young Offenders, uh, the, the team from Disability Awareness Day, 
Everybody, fantastic effort, and also Walton Hall Gardens. And with the bad weather, was there a real doubt about the event taking place? Oh yeah, it definitely was, Gary. Yeah, it was very, very close to being called on a number of occasions, especially earlier on in the week, Monday and Tuesday, and then sort of later on Friday. But I mean, again, the, the ground conditions are, are atrocious, but thousands of people have turned up, so it just shows it's needed. And uh, some good news just breaking that uh, your main sponsors have agreed to sponsor again next year. What, yeah. what do you think about that? Yeah, they certainly have. You know, Brian Cronin from your housing group really pulled us out the bag this year. Um, we've had their help this year, the, the show ones have gone on but yes, they've just pledged their support for next year all I've got to do now is convince Pam, my missus to let me do it again next year. Okay Dave, as always well done. Cheers mate, thank you